Hello, my name is Zoe and I'm the Singing Farm Motor Song Farm and I am here today to share with you my abundance. I have um, the wonderful treat of a new water butt um, standpipe that my husband has rigged up for, for me. It's a project that I didn't even know was um, needed and it, it turned up which is great because we've had weeks and weeks of drought and um, I was emptying the water butts by hand with the watering can and uh, he said, well here you go, why don't I rig up a standpipe halfway down the garden? So wonderful, I'm really excited um, and it works very well. Um, it just empties straight out of the um, water butts. I'm going to unblend it. Oh, there we go, Ooh, and now I'm going to sit in a puddle. Ah! <laughs> so, I don't think I planned that very well. Um, anyway, so it just empties straight out of the water butts and uh, it's, it's going to make um, using the rainwater much more, much easier for us all. So um, we have two water butts that drain off, um, the one that drains off the garden shed and one drains off the garage. And that's going to be great now that I can access that. But um, actually it's going to rain later, so, <laughs> so we're going to have an abundance of water which is lovely. So uh, uh, yeah, I get to empty out the buckets and they get to fill up again. Um, so that was one little share. Um, and also we've had um, some germination. We've got, um, here we've got uh, turnips coming up, which is lovely. And I've been munching my way through the lettuces. I've just taken the uh, fleece off those. Um, still having problems with pigeons. So I tend to keep them covered with the fleece at the minute to keep the pigeons off. But um, yeah, I've got one one sneaky little lettuce that wasn't quite what I thought it was has gone in. It's a different variety. It's I think it's last year's Amaze lettuce, um, and the rest are the winter density. Um, and uh, my project for checking on the biodynamic days, um, I don't think it's very conclusive. So I get to I get to practice that one again. We'll see how that one goes. Anyway, that's, um, that's what's going on here at the minute. And I'm really excited about my water. <laughs> so I thought I'd just share with you about that. Anyway, um, oh, I've got wet knees now. <laughs> Soggy wet knees. So Pippin and Ebony are getting bigger and fluffier. And uh, there, there have been some successes with Pippin actually, um, where she has, I think, once jumped in to twice. the oh, twice jumped in to the um, cat litter tray and then done what she needs to do on her own. Um, so we're hoping that this is a new pattern that she's starting to do. Um, and Ebony is still in training. Um, so we're just watching them, keeping an eye on them. Uh, oh, <laughs> just walked in her water. Um, so yeah, so Pippin, um, we're waiting to have another little poop session. She's just been, um, and I missed it with the videoing, but hopefully she'll jump in and um, do something in the next 10 minutes or so. So I'm just recording and hoping that that will happen. Oh, here goes, here goes one. In you go, Pippin. So she's jumped in on her own, Whoop. jumped in on her own, used the cat litter space and um, had a treat. So yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> Not so much with Ebony. <laughs> what else have I been up to? We've got, we've got some germination um, over here. I've been thinning out my um, radishes. I did plant a whole load of different varieties of radish down here. Here we go, here's radishes. Um, and there were rows and rows of them, but not all of them seem to have come up. So that's been going on. And uh, what I've been using for labels is I've used bits of slate that were knocking about in the garden. I've got a, a white labeling pen and I've used just little broken up bits of slate just to label. Um, and I've decided that I'm, I don't want to buy plastic labels. That's really annoying me. Every time I've used them before, they just break up. They make more microplastic everywhere. So no, I'm not going to go there. Now I'm going to use slate. 
So uh, whatever we find off the roof, we had loads of slate that was taken off, some broken tiles taken off when we had the roof fixed a while back. And we kept the slates because I said, do those all come in useful in the garden? And um, so yes, uh, little, the little pieces are being used as labels. The big pieces I'm using as edging for things. Um, what else is going on? The purple sprouting's looking a little bit ended now, but we're getting last few bits off that. Um, it didn't enjoy the drought. The rhubarb. Rhubarb's coming up, because that's lovely. That rhubarb is going a bit more crazy now. There's the rhubarb. There's the rhubarb. So, yeah, so rhubarb's all coming up. Um, and uh, some great big stunking bits of rhubarb. So I get to trim that back. The more I trim off, the more we get. So um, I'll do that in the morning, though. It's better to, to catch it in the morning. That's rhubarb. And then over there, which you can see in the background, that was the attempt at the green manure, which I don't think it's worked very well. The cat has used it as her toilet. We had weeks of no rain, so it didn't germinate. Um, and I think the pigeons enjoyed the seed, <laughs> but we've got some. And that's where the courgettes will go. Um, when I when I get to the courgettes and uh, yeah little things are happening in the garden which is lovely yeah so I was thinking about what I might share this week what I might sing and I was coming up with a little tune in the car I went a bit melancholy in the car as I was driving back from dropping my teenager off for college <laughs> it seems to be a regular thing and it was all about connecting with my inner self and what it, what is that energy inside so yes yeah, about the inner energy of myself that I'm bringing forth into the world and that's really where everything starts that is my that is my beginning that is where the core of everything begins so I'm really working on connecting with my inner energy my inner my inner energy being so that I can bring that out to the world. Yes, yeah, so what I'm imagining in myself is a glowing sun, a glowing rosy sun deep within my heart. It's a rose, it's a rosy glow and it's a glow of love. So that's where I'm beginning everything from. And I'm working on really connecting with that as the essence of going forward so if I connect with that that's just pure love and then that gets to come out in whatever I'm creating so that's yeah that's what I'm working on this on this week for myself and taking that forward with the theme of abundance that um, if I start there with a, an abundance of energy, an abundance of love, an abundance of creativity, but just pure abundance, there's so much. And it, the fire there gets to be stoked by self-care. So that's, that's important that I make sure that I make, I make time for self-care and that fire then is able to keep burning and not go out so yeah it's a bit of visualization a bit of really connecting with myself and looking at how i can then move forward from that from that place that's the beginning that's that's the beginning of everything um and my invitation to all of you is look at connecting with your inner self. Where, where, where is your power? Where is your power? So that is another thing. I was looking at where is my power? Um, where do I get to start with my own powerful energy? Mm. Anyway, so songs, I was, I was just humming away. So this is sort of authentic singing, authentic singing in the moment. What comes up, if I connect to that place, what comes up in that space? Deeply. 
within my heart I know there's a loving rosy glow that I bring to all of you. That is how I show deep within my heart I feel love is shed amongst the world. There's a place for It shines above. This is going to have to end. <laughs> I think the rain's going to be stronger. But it's wonderful. The rain is coming. The abundance is there. The rain will fill up the water butts. The, the wonderful, magical garden support person will make more wonderful things. It's like taps I didn't expect. And I am blessed with this wonderful space and I'm looking forward to seeing how this earth song farm manifests as it comes into being. We have rhubarb, we have radishes, we have turnips and lettuces, it's all coming together and I'm getting wet <laughs> so I'm gonna go in. Bye bye, I love you all. It's not rain, it's hail! <laughs> I'm going to cover the lettuces again. <laughs> Like you all slid down.